we are living in a fastest world every day we are seeing a new and new innovations earlier we used to go to markets to purchase a cloth during a festive season but now we are moved to e-commerce and slowly we are moving towards a quick commerce like a swiggy zomato blinkit similar ways these days many companies are building a no code automation platforms we are seeing a trends on a linkedin and other social media platforms gartner says low code and no code technologies use will nearly triple by 2025 in this new technology era of a no code automation platform as a tester could we learn no code automation platform or what is the future of no code automation platforms will it replace automation testers So let's understand this. Camera rolling action. First thing first, let's understand what is a no code or low code automation platforms. Using these platforms, we can develop automation script faster compared to the traditional hybrid automation frameworks. How using no code automation framework, we can do the drag and drop, we can write a test steps in a plain english or we can record and play the automation scripts and these days no code automation platforms are being integrated with so many platforms like uh, we can easily generate a fancy test report we can integrate with so many tools like a uh, slack jira browser stack source labs and apart from this we can do the ci cd without writing a single line of code however for a traditional automation frameworks initially we have to find a technologies which tool which framework we are going to use and after that we have to find a skillful resources who can build a sustainable automation framework and this process will take up to 3 to 6 months time however using no code automation within an hour or two like this we can write a automation script and we can execute on a multiple platforms or multiple browsers whatever we wanted to do and we will get a automatic report generated let's take a look of demo of no code automation platform excel queue ExcelQ is a leader among continuous functional test automation providers and is trusted by Fortune 500 enterprises across industry verticals. ExcelQ's AI-powered codeless test automation platform has proven to achieve 3 times the productivity and reduce test maintenance by 70%. That translates to over 50% cost savings and enables alignment with your continuous delivery. ExcelQ brings the discipline, flexibility and power of a conventional code-based setup into a codeless world. Automation first, no code capabilities make it easy for testing teams without programming expertise to develop automation in plain, natural English. The world is undoubtedly moving towards low code, no code and cloud apps that present their unique set of testing challenges. Our game-changing technology, ExcelQ Live, drives digital assurance across enterprise and vertical industry apps. Give your testing verifiable acceleration. Sign up for a free trial today. We are discussing all this stuff, but we have to understand what are the advantages of a no-code automation platform. As a company or as an individual, it requires some minimum skills. If someone can understand the testing and someone can write a steps, then they can basically automate UI or mobile applications using a no-code automation platform. So it requires minimal skills to work on. Second is test execution. and test creation is faster as we saw in a demo like in a plain english we can write a script and we can integrate with so many platforms and we will easily get a reports compared to the traditional framework low code automation requires less maintenance for example in traditional framework if someone is breaking that we have to again look back a code which is developed by years back or months back but in no code automation it's just like a plain english or drag and drop or we can again easily record a new steps and we can integrate with the existing script so maintenance is easy and it is faster easy integration with a multiple tool so it basically it requires a less time so these are the advantages of a no code automation tools however it comes with the so many disadvantages as well so as a company point of view if you i'm working for a one client and client has some data security so i need to make sure that all the data securities are being measured uh, with the no code automation platform if they are not going to allow me to use a no code automation platform so as a company i cannot use a no code automation platform and i need to go with a traditional approach of automation limited customization how for example let's say i have a specific use case to automate some stuff and no code automation platform is not compatible with it then that is a problem to automate those scenarios so for particular scenarios if i am 
working on a no code automation platform and my entire suite of no code automation platform then it is tough to go for a single scenario so a couple of scenarios i can go with a hybrid framework so it doesn't give up flexibility to automate everything or most of the things and as of now at the current point of time it is supporting only apis ui and mobile applications but for example if i'm working on a microservices or complex data or i'm comparing a data on a two different way database via apis and i have certain use cases it's difficult to accommodate on a no code automation platform long way running cost what does it mean for example if company is using auto no code automation platform and they have built a sustainable framework on no code automation platform so every day a company has to use that no code automation platform lifelong and sometimes it is challenging to move one no code automation platform to another no code automation platform or it is problematic to move to legacy hybrid automation framework and last one is a question on sustainability for example recently we have seen the in a news test project is being acquired by some other company so as a comp if i am planning to release and by that time that company will announce we are going we are acquired then we are gone how we can release the product how we can run the suit during that time we have to go with a migration and that is a unplanned activities as a company or as a testers we have to go on through so it's difficult to make a call whether we should use a no code automation platforms or not however despite of being all this no code automation platforms will definitely make a space in a automation industry by solving a multiple use cases of a automation for example some companies is going to struggle they are having a simple applications and they are struggling to build a automation teams for them there will be a good scope to move to the no code automation platforms and they can easily build a suite on no code automation platform and, and they can build a regression suite is it tester should i learn no code automation platform or not this days more than 500 companies are building a small or big automation platform so is it tester we can not learn each and every tools however we can explore a one or two auto no code automation platforms this will take hardly one to two weeks because it basically uh, works on a Now uh, plain English or drag and drop or simply re uh, record and play. So we can explore, and if there are opportunities, so then we can easily work on those no code automation platform. But remember one thing: working on no code automation platform is working on someone else's code. So someone else has already built that code, and we are working on that because we are not skilled compared to the them. So it's a long game. It depends on you whether you wanted to learn a code and you wanted to build a no code automation platform or you wanted to just use no code automation platform.